Hello everybody, I hope you are alright. Today we are going to talk about flavonoids. What is that thing? Sounds crazy. And vitamin C, I know you already know what is vitamin C, but flavonoids they are so very cool. And it's about also the experiment. Remember, we are going to make a super healthy tea today. So we, with further ado, we are going to start. And I have this video, I think it's super cool. So I'm going to uh, tell, tell things about the video when we are seeing, okay? So let's start up, okay? So flavonoids, who are they? Who are they, and what, why are they so important? And what do they do? Well, we all know that lemons, fruits, berries, and veggies are essential to our healthy diet. However, may not you may not know that one reason that they are very important is because they have flavonoids, okay, in their skins and inside them. And lemon is one of the fruits that have more flavonoids. Flavonoids provide pigmentation, UV. You, uh, ultraviolet fi filtration and perform vital functions in protecting these fruits from diseases. And flavonoids have all have a unique benefit in our diet as as well. Okay, the chemistry of flavonoids is a very complicated one. Okay, but simply put, flavonoids are most commonly seen as antioxidants, antivirals, and antimicrobial agents okay so we are going to have here a demo uh, some some uh, video about that one so in the first place you see without antioxidants and the one we no anti anti we know antioxidants okay and see what is happening actually the green little dots that are over there are antioxidants antioxidants okay so um, these are very important because they defend our body against harmful and damaging free radicals, okay? Free radicals are atoms or molecules in our body that have single unpaired electrons. Having unpaired electrons make this substance highly unstable and they run through our body, seeking to steal an electron from another atom or molecule. And when an atom or molecule has electrons stolen from it, it becomes a free radical itself. And it, now we have an, an, a change reaction, okay? Um, as you can see here in the video, um, we are going to see uh, some proportion of oxygen. Those little blue dots that you see there are oxygen, okay? And they are going to our cells in our body, so they are attacking the cells. Okay, let's continue. So here's without antioxidants, the, the oxygen comes inside the cells and it damages, okay? We can ca cause cancers, hair diseases, allergies, inflammation, you name it, okay? But if we have antioxidants, then they block this, uh, this, uh, this, this atom, this, this uh, atom cell, so it doesn't get, uh, it get harmful to our cells. So there's kind of defense. Also, we can say this is kind of a fighting, a, a science five battle there in the space. I will put a video because I like it so we can see it in, no, in another way, okay? That we're coming with the sheep and pew 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 uh, just <laughs> giving some of them good stuff through killing them or okay? well, we're, we're preventing them for for making some harm to us okay so um these free radicals are not very good for us not very good for the body and we need to protect ourselves okay um so uh we have the most important thing that i wish to leave it here is that they have antiviral antimicrobial effects in humans as antiviral activity flavonoids inhibit viruses to the replication that's pretty awesome don't you think so the more flavonoids that is in your diet the lower the risk for diseases and the list of benefits goes on and on so ask yourself how many servings of fruits and veggies do you have every day how many of lemons you take and how many flavonoids you eat okay so one very good thing to do it is um one very good thing to do it is is with this tea i promise it is very healthy very tasty and give it a try okay in the next video we are going to see more about vitamin c see you Okay, we are in space now, okay, and bringing to you this sci-fi action movie Live for antioxidants and free radicals. Let's start. Let's keep it. Let's roll it Here comes the antioxidant, okay, roaming in yours in your body 
inside your veins, uh, protecting you against bad things. Here it comes. Down there is the cell. He's preparing. Oh my god, I love this scene. And he goes there and sees some radicals there. And it's not Star Wars. Ah, there's <laughs> the the rebels, okay? So they are coming there to do so harm to the cell. Ah, and starts the fighting. Yeah, thank god. Pew, pew. <laughs> oh god, super cool. So that's the way we have to destroy those things, okay? Uh, I hope you like it. Nice. Oh, good guys. Ah, oh, there you go. Nice. Here comes the other one. Ah, you can do it. Yes. And the flag on my spaceship wins. I you like it. <laughs> I love Star Wars. I love I love sci-fi and space battles. I hope you liked it too. Hello everybody, I hope you are alright. Now we are going to talk about vitamin C. So what in the world is vitamin C? You hear about it all the time and sounds important, so let's get into it first off, okay? So vitamin C is water soluble. That means that it doesn't stick in your body around too much time, okay? And the the rest of the vitamin C is just uh, gets out of your body, it's disposed, okay? So uh, uh, also, vitamin C is known as uh, ascorbic acid. Your body needs vitamin C to help the cells stick together through the means of collagen synthesis. It creates a connective tissue so that it holds your bones, your muscles, and other tissues together. Also, vitamin C acts as an antioxidant and helps your immune system or improve it. Okay. Oh. Basically, basically, our bodies can produce our own vitamin C and we need to store it. So we need to use every day to get some vitamin C. We recommend sticking to foods. Trying your best source will be stick to citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruits, and the, the, another fruits like red peppers and kiwi also have a lot of vitamin C. Adult females need 75 milligrams a day and adult males 90 milligrams a day okay you're not going to find too many cases of people that have vitamin c deficiency but a couple of year, hundred years ago you might find a couple of sailors or pirates who didn't get enough vitamin c and they got scorby which basically means that their teeth falls out and the gum starts to bleeding oh that's gross um, so also too much vitamin C will mostly just get excreted out of your or your of your body. Um, but um, it can also lead to have kidney stones. Uh, you don't want that one. That's very pretty pretty pre painful. Okay, um, what else? Well last thing, whenever you get cold, you are bound to hear advice about stocking up on vitamin C. Does it work? Does it prevent or cure the common cold? Well, no one can say that for sure. Some people call it a placebo, some other people say it is the way to go for the most part. Though increasing your intake of vitamin C over 5,500 milligrams per day doesn't increase your, your body uh, immune system, okay? The uses of that vitamin C. And that's it. Stay safe. Watch the experiment uh, for the extra healthy tea in the steam cooking. I'm your teacher Robert. I'm very delighted, delightful to be with you and see you in the other time. Bye bye.